So I think this is my DJA Spark. Let's find out. I don't know what this is. Uh, I guess it's just a USB reader. 32 gigabyte SanDisk micro SD card. And last but not least, the Spark. This box is tiny. And I can't see the end. Every step is getting harder through all the hurt. I guess this is the accessory box. Spark Alpine White. Battery safety guidelines. Spark disclaimer and safety guidelines. Spark quick start guide. I'll hold on to that. USB to micro USB. Wall charger, wall work itself. And this thing is tiny. Two extra propellers. The spark. This thing is tiny. I feel like my knife is bigger than it. Holy crap, this thing is tiny. I did not expect it to be this small. This thing is wicked tiny. Pretty stoked by it. I guess this is the battery. All right, and yeah, the battery. Cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this charged up and probably record more video after I log it in and get to play with it a little bit. Alright, now we're getting into the setup. First thing I'm going to do is check to make sure that the Wi-Fi stuff on the box right there matches what's in the Spark. Yep, matches, so I'm going to try to do the whole setup on the DJI GO app by scanning the code. Scan QR code. So I got the please connect to the aircraft to activate QR code not clear or scan failed. So the whole QR code scan doesn't work right out of the box. I'll try it again though. Yep, error could not activate, so I'm just gonna go ahead and try to turn it on and connect that way. So this is the first time I remember setting this up. Oh, there it goes. So it popped up. I'm gonna enter the password. Okay, so it's connected, and there's also a new firmware update, so I'm going to go ahead and do that now. It's downloading, downloaded the new firmware, and I'm going to start update. You fell on the darkness in my mind, you turn on the lights, every part of my world is so alive. Update complete, please manually restart your aircraft. Alright. So I'm connected, I'm going to start flight. Aircraft must be activated the first time it is connected to DJI GO. This also activates the one year warranty. What I also plan on doing is getting the DJI refresh or care plan um, after I do that. So this thing is taken care of. Choose aircraft name and activate. Actually, let's take this outside. Now right, let's go ahead and start flight. Oh, I guess I gotta calibrate. Press start to begin the compass calibration. Calibrated. The video doesn't seem laggy. Alright, let's get it up in the air. So my initial impression so far of the DJI Spark is that it seems like a Pretty cool, take anywhere, I guess, selfie drone. The little carry case that it comes with is easy enough to throw in a backpack. And on the app, when you're controlling it through the app, it doesn't seem laggy at all. You know, it's connected to Wi Fi. Um, I'll probably have more of an opinion when I take it out into the open and let it fly, you know, further than like six feet from me. And I didn't try gesture control yet, so we'll see how that goes, but that'll be a follow-up video. But yeah, as far as a initial impression, I think it'll be fun. It'll be something that I carry around. I mean, the Mavic, the Mavic that I have, the case isn't that much bigger, it's just a different shape. So, happy to have both. Uh, 
fortunate enough to have both and probably make more videos with it later. So thanks for watching.